So Unreal Engine and Nanite. A lot of people have said that in mobile platforms like uh, Quest, which I'm on now, it doesn't work. And it turns out that that's kind of true, but it also kind of does work because what we have around us here are a whole bunch of Nanite meshes. In fact, we have um, over 500 million triangles worth of Nanite meshes going down the row here. And I've just got some, you know, fun stationary light stuff going on to just add interest to the scene. But there is uh, over half a billion polygons here. Or at least that's what the Nanite meshes are based on. But it turns out that when you have a Nanite mesh, you also get a fallback mesh. And the fallback mesh is actually a really excellent um, LOD that comes out of the box. So each of these was reduced down to about 16K. And so... That little auto LOD kind of system, combined with the fact that uh, I didn't have to modify my scene at all. In fact, for anyone who wants to try this out, I'm including exactly the same scene. Literally just packaged the scene once for Windows and once for Android. And I think you'll be pleasantly surprised by how well Unreal Engine is handling uh, both of these platforms and the pros and cons of each one. Uh, also, real quick, in the menu, we've got our standard, you know, restart stuff, and I've got this little light show that you can pause or resume, and then, of course, we can turn our stats on and off. If you do this on Windows, you'll actually get to see all the uh, nanite triangles in their billions of polygon glory. Well, millions, but, you know, 500 million. That's quite a lot. So, hope that's interesting to you, and uh, give it a try, and let me know what you think, including a download link below.